Hello, and welcome to Let My People Eat, a podcast that provides satisfying talk about kosher nutrition. Here we clear through the clutter of nutrition speak, arm you with the clarity and confidence to eat, feel, and be your healthiest every day. I am Jill Sharfman, a board-certified holistic nutritionist living in Los Angeles. And I'm Dr. Andrea Moskowitz, a neuroscientist and psychiatrist in Los Angeles. I use my training and experience to integrate positive lifestyle changes into my patients' lives. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Jill. How's it going? It's going well. Do you believe this is our 100th episode of Let My People Eat? No, you're kidding. Really? The the time has gone so fast. I know. I can't believe it. And I'm so proud of what we have done together here. Yeah. And you've done a great... I mean, I'm here on on the show, but you do so much work to prep everything, get the guests, set everything up. It's amazing. Great. Thank you so much. So you're welcome. We spend a lot of time with our guests, but I don't know if people know us as well as they would like to. So Uh we're going to engage in a little game show today Okay, where Mike Cassantini, who's our engineer here at the network studios, is going to be asking both of us rapid fire questions okay. so that our audience can get to know us a little bit better. All right. All right. Here goes. What time did you wake up today? 6.30 a.m. Uh, sad to say 4 a.m. and even sadder without an alarm clock. What did you have for breakfast? I had one egg with one egg white, avocado, and a coconut wrap, coffee, and of course, my chocolate chip cookie that I have every day. I had an energy bar, and then I had Greek yogurt, um, a fruit bowl, and a cup of coffee. What is your favorite kitchen tool? I would have to say my Vitamix blender. I just got one recently, and I love it. My microplane grater. What are your three favorite spices? Okay, I would have to say garlic powder, cinnamon, and rosemary. Garlic powder, rosemary, and paprika. What is your favorite cocktail? Champagne, all the way. Basic, gin and tonic. What is your most favorite food? I would have to say spaghetti. It's too hard to choose. I've never met a cuisine I didn't like. What is your least favorite food? Green peas. Very aged, smelly cheeses. What is your guilty pleasure? Watching The Real Housewives on Bravo. Reading Harry Potter books again for the umpteenth time. Coffee or tea? Coffee, black. Tea. Bake or cook? I can actually bake and cook, and I love to do both. Cook. Steak or fish? Fish. Wait a second. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat anything with a face on it. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Savory. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Vanilla. Flat or sparkling? Flat. Sparkling. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. Well, I wish I could say it was dark chocolate, but really it's milk chocolate. (laughs) What is your favorite dessert? Uh, Cheesecake. Ice cream all the way. What non-kosher food would you want to try? Lobster. You mean, what would I want to try again? Um, Bacon-wrapped jumbo shrimp. What is your superpower? I can find a bathroom anywhere I am. I can reliably find wall studs with the tapping out method. Best kitchen hack. Spray your chillin' pot before you use it. When you have to mix something up with oil and uh, seasonings, put it in a Ziploc plastic bag and mix everything together that way. What is your favorite Shabbos food? Uh, Kishka. <laughs> Cholent. Favorite cookbook? Um, I would have to go with the old school spice and spirit from the Lubavitch women. The complete vegetarian cookbook by Mark Bittman. Favorite recipe of your grandma's? Uh, her hamantaschen. Her almond crescents. Favorite restaurant? Uh, Terrasaur and Oxnard at the Herzog Winery. Bodhi Thai kosher vegan Thai restaurant. Best health habit. I floss every day. I exercise every day. Worst health habit. I hate taking vitamins and I'm not good at it at all. Well, this is a little bit embarrassing, but sometimes I go to sleep without taking my makeup off first. Best way to decompress. Exercise. Exercise. Favorite health hack. Oh, a water bottle with a straw. 
um, sauteing bunches of greens and garlic all together. What did you have for lunch? I had an open-faced tuna sandwich on sourdough with a salad. I had brown rice, steamed vegetables, um, and roasted tofu. What did you have for dinner? I had salmon, asparagus, and roasted sweet potato. Well, actually, except for Shabbos and Yentif and special occasions, I really don't eat dinner anymore. So I usually just have a snack of popcorn, fruit, and maybe a cookie. What is your favorite seasoning? Uh, that would be everything but the bagel spice. Japanese seven spice mix. What is a phobia you have? I hate snakes. I'm really afraid of heights. What are you reading right now? It's called Earthlings by Sayaka Murata, a Japanese author. Um, it's the last book he wrote. It's called On Morality by Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs. What is your favorite time of day? Early morning before everybody else is up. Early morning. What is something people don't know about you? That I grew up Chabad Lubavitch. That when I was in college, I lived for a year in London. One vice you can't give up. I cannot give up watching Netflix before bedtime, which I know is such a bad habit. I can't give up watching Netflix or something on Amazon Prime in the evening. What is your favorite snack? Almonds. Popcorn. What is your favorite Jewish holiday? Perm, because it's right near my birthday. Shavuos. What's not to like about a holiday with flowers and cheesecake? Late night food craving. Popcorn. <laughs> Something sweet. Favorite childhood food? Uh, it'd have to be the sugared cereals I grew up with. Captain Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops. They were the best. <laughs> French toast. Favorite road trip snack? Noka smoothie packs. A Trader Joe's basic trail mix. Favorite exercise? Uh, lifting weights. Um, it's a dead heat between running and spinning. Favorite vegetable? Roasted Brussels sprouts. Any vegetable that's in a curry. I'm particularly liking cauliflower and spinach together now. Favorite season? Summer. Winter. Best compliment ever. I had to take my daughter to a doctor's appointment for a minor knee injury. And because I guess the questions I was asking, the doctor said to me, are you a doctor? Uh, I recently got an email from a former, from the parent of a former client um, who I last saw two years ago telling me how well the client was doing and um, how much they appreciated uh, my help and care and how I hung in with them over a couple of years when things were rough. What are three words that describe living in L.A.? Beach, sun, and homeless. Active, diverse, expensive. What talent do you wish you had? That I was able to sing. That I was a lot more flexible and I could do splits. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Both. We have one of each. Favorite board game? Bananagrams. Othello. Favorite word? Epiphany. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. What makes you happy? Being on the beach with my family. Well, quoting from my daughter when she was seven years old, me, I make myself happy, but also saying the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So, Jill, now that we've done 100 episodes, looking back, what have been some of your favorites? I would have to say the very first episode we did called Keeping Kosher, Keeping Healthy, where we interviewed the founders of Grow and Behold, Noth and Anna, and you and I got to tell our origin story and why we started the podcast in the first place. Mm -hmm. So that for sure has a special place in my heart. Right. Um, I also love the episode we did recently about thyroid. Um, that one did really well. I think people have a very strong interest in learning more about that. And that really represented what we're trying to do here at Let My People Eat. Right. Um, Rachel Goodman's episodes also, uh, we did one with her called Ditch the Diet. And mm -hmm. the other one was the How to Break the Binge Eating Cycle. Right. I love talking to Rachel. She has so much good advice. Um, also, Keto Kosher. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you and I walked into that episode thinking that we were going to have a totally different outcome and mm -hmm. we weren't really pro keto. And after talking to Moshe, I think he really changed our minds about that episode. Um, right. And again, I have to talk about the breast cancer episodes that we do, sure. the breast cancer myths that we did uh, with Shar Sharet. Um, really a lot of good information that I was happy to impart. Right. Um, so what about you? What are your favorite episodes? So mine... Um 
a lot of the ones. So, but I was looking at some of the more recent ones that we've been doing. So one was on the um, uh, stigma of mental health problems in the Orthodox Jewish community. So I thought it was very good how she, our guest covered everything and talked about the research that she's been doing. Yeah, Dr. Rona Miles. Dr. Rona Miles, right. Yeah. Right, right. And um, then I also really appreciated Robin Goldberg's one on eating disorders. I think it was very clear. She really talked about um, how eating disorders develop, right. the, the warning signs. And she has this great book out that I have recommended to people right. it's for a lot more information the about eating, eating disorder. disorder trap. Right, mm-hmm. the eating disorder yep. trap. Um, and it's very well written and it's very readable and I think it's extremely helpful for people. And then, um, the one that we did with, um, Libby Yaffe Mm -hmm. on, um, who has spirit fit life on, um, self care, the self care is not selfish. Um, cause I really, I think that's so important for especially women to know, um, that's really important to take care of yourself. And I like the program she described and how, you know, she talked about it really as a journey towards fitness, not something you just, you know, do and it works right away and it takes time. I like the way also she really focuses on moms exactly. and their journeys and how to help them just manage life because right. it's really, it's really hard, tough when you're a mom. Yeah. So. And I also like how she focuses on each person who's going to have their own uh, goals and things that they want to work on and help and she helps them get there. Yeah. Uh, are there any products that we, you know, yeah. maybe had the founders or the people involved with it that you you've used and you really enjoyed? Right. So there's two things that come to mind. So one is I have been using um the collagen from the Shore Magic. Yes, I use line. it too. So I take it every day mm-hmm. and I find I, I really do think I have like less inflammation. Um, I know I do running. I do a lot of ex- physical exercise and I noticed I, I do have some decreased joint pain. Right. Um, yeah, so, I love it too. Yeah. I, I think it's great. I also love Rory um, from Full and Free, her grain free products. And mm-hmm. um, I love using those as well. That's that's really great. Um, I do have some guests that I would love to see on the show. Right. One of them would be my Bialik. Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, because yeah, that would she's, be fun. she's so much fun yeah. and she has such a good perspective on her Jewishness. And I would love mm-hmm. to talk to her. Um, Connie Apfelbaum from Busy in Brooklyn. She's going to have a new cookbook coming out this okay, year. Great. Um, I would love to uh, have her on. And then there's also uh, a woman who goes by Balabusta on Instagram, Bracha. She... Um, I would love to talk to her because she deals a lot with um, like sex therapy. Uh And I don't think we've really gotten into the issue of how sex is treated in the from world. No, we have not at all. That would be very good. Yeah, she has some really good perspective. So if anybody out there knows Bracha, please uh, (laughs) tell her we would love to have her on the episode as well. Um, I'd also want to thank Art Scroll because they've been big supporters of ours. And I wanted to let everybody know that we are going to be doing a giveaway with them in honor of our 100th episode. nice. We are going to be giving away five of my favorite cookbooks. Oh, very good. Yeah. So um, please uh, listen. We're going to, how to enter for that. We're going to do that on Instagram. And also, if you do want to order any of the cookbooks from Art Scroll, um, you can use code Jill100 and you'll get 20% off your purchase. Very nice. I also wanted to let everybody know that we're looking for contributors to the Let My People Eat website. So if you're in the holistic health or wellness or nutrition field, we'd love to hear from you. So please reach out. Please do. And also, we'd love to hear from people if they have some suggestions or for topics they'd like to see covered. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jill H. Sharfman. I'd also like to thank Mike Cassantini, who you heard today. Uh, He's our engineer here at the Network Studios. And don't forget to check us out on the Schmoozy app. Thanks, Andrea, for 100 wonderful episodes. Thank you, Jill. Here's to the last 100 and the next 100. Yes, and go in good health. You too. Go in good health. And that is it for this episode of Let My People Eat. 
please visit our website at letmypeopleeat.com and leave us a comment. Get in touch with our email at podcast at letmypeopleeat.com or call us at 317-659-0004. We are also on Facebook. Search for Let My People Eat Podcast to join the discussion. You can ask questions and suggest topics you'd like us to talk about in future episodes. If you like this show, please make sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and tell your friends and family to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts. Let My People Eat is proud to be part of Jewish Coffee House, where you can find your fill of stimulating podcasts dedicated exclusively to Jewish content. Please remember that while we are certified professionals, this is not a medical advice podcast. No content, posts, or comments should be interpreted as professional guidance. Always speak to your own doctor about making the right life changes for you. Until next time, I am Jill Sharfman. And I am Andrea Moskowitz. Thanks for joining us and go in good health.